Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Vic Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me for the next episode of Masquerada. Songs and Shadows. We're going to run around. We're going to gather up all of this wonderful fun stuff. Press L to view. It's under magic. All right. Paviseries, pa Paviseries, I got nothing. Masquerada who practice Marobusta alone are called uh, Paviseries. I'm just going to call it that. Easier to pronounce. And practice a type of dance that involves strong, bold, contained movements. The Paviseries, the Paviseries, there we go. Among all the Masquerada have the ability to brand the largest volume of their element at any one time, and their abilities reflect this. Earth brand Paviseries, uh, pass, yeah, pass, pass, uh, Pass Paviseries. There we go. Paviseries. That's much better. I, I think I was throwing like passiveness in there. I, I was being passive aggressive. It's fine. I uh, have the ability to summon walls of earth. Airbrand Paviseries can channel pounding blasts of wind. With the raw strength and power of Marabusto comes a price, however. Paviseries are almost never able to control their elements with precision. Large bold displays of the power are often all they can manage. For shame. Large, bold displays. No finesse. No precision. No preciseness. It seems kind of like splitting hairs when we already said precision. And the Sicarios and the Medanza. Sure. Sicarios and Mendanza. The Sicarios are practitioners of Mendanza. The, me the media that I personally believe to be the most beautiful to watch, it is a fluid dance which involves tumbles and turns and flowing flips. It is elegant but not clumsy, smooth but not inaccurate, and these descriptions are reflected in the abilities of the Sicarios, who wield their elements with the most precision and finesse of all the Masquerada. Firebrand Sicarios often wield whips of flames. Waterbrand Sicarios uh, hurl icicles with almost pre Preternational, preternatural, okay. Uh, precision. This focus on finesse has cost the Sicarios in raw power, however. Few Sicarios will ever be able to take on a, a Pavisari in a test of strength, either physical or magical, and so they must rely on their wits and cunning to make most of their talents. A Sicario that positions themselves well on the battlefield, however, is truly a force to be reckoned with. Okay, it's good to know. Alright, additionally, let's get out of magic. Let's go into... Characters? Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize it was actually broken down more. I felt like we had, like, different things before. Like, I was like, I don't remember seeing this before. And then I'm like, I don't remember seeing this before. So, okay. Uh, Mask Runners. We're learning about the Mask Runners right now. The Herald 2. My brother never mentioned anything about the Herald or this lady that he seems to be the spokesperson of, but I suppose that should not be surprising. My brother left a power void in his wake that others must have rushed to fill. This Herald must have been the victor, but his place as leader of the Mask Runners makes me wonder. What happened to Lysandra Rorick, my brother's second in command? And the Lady won. I cannot claim to be an expert in all things related to mask runners, but I do find it surprising that this is first. That this is the first that I'm hearing of this lady. Apparently, she is a figure in the mask runners' ranks and has a mouthpiece whom they refer to as the Herald. But any information beyond that is cast in shadow. She must have been a recent occurrence then, which makes the command that she has over the mask runners even more surprising. Alright, that's enough lore for right now. We're going to go run around and do some more crazy stuff, or maybe medium stuff that's not so crazy. The slow, steady walk. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Don't be. You're here to find your brother, not deal with my demons. If you ever need help... A generous offer, but... I knew what I was in for when I returned. Then why did you... Did you know Avestus promised me enough crescents to last a lifetime if I came back? So you're back for coin? Come on. We should speak with Kyrie. Hopefully she can tell us more about the Fae. Indeed, let's go speak with Kyrie.
All right, we're on. We're in the concourse. Nope. So what's the plan exactly? We need to find out what Razatov was doing with the Fey. If anyone could tell us more, it would be the head researcher of the registry. Makes sense. Seems legit. Uh oh. This is for you, sir. What is this? A set of uniform. The Verone wishes for you to change into them, then meet him in the reception hall. We've a room for your privacy just over there. <sighs> Dismissed. <sighs> just a moment. I'll be here. Apparently I must go change. Oh, I'm too rugged. Ooh, I look sexy. Look at me. It fits. I hate it. Mm. Why? Well, forget it. Now come on, Avestus. Listen, Cicero. I can see that this search for my brother has brought you to dark places. I hope you know I'm not doing this for you. I never thought you were, but I'd like to aid you where I can. Ah, we're on the same page then. You can start by not asking so many questions. Now, hurry along. Why do you hate it? <sighs> Please, Mariner. It's just a question. Because this symbolizes everything about me that my brother would disapprove of. And I am wearing it. Satisfied? Quiet. You'd better be. Now come along. I don't know. I think he could take you in a fight. Oh my. There is a lot of stuff to learn about. Let's go into our lore and learn about the cape. Not that we'll be able to do that, but... That's a thing. I'm just going to kind of casually look around here. It's fine. You know, we don't have to commit to anything right now. Okay, we'll read about Cal whatever in a minute. Calden in a second here. Okay. Alright, let's read about Calden. The manor seems to believe he can somehow help me. What does he think himself to be? A counselor of a sort? I don't want to encourage this behavior. My past is past, and bringing it up is bound to do no one good. I don't plan on allowing him to continue with this prodding, but I'm foreseeing that I might have a difficult time telling him off. He seems genuine and sincere about his efforts, though, as much as I'd rather he weren't. In that aspect, I suppose he does remind me of Razatov. Alright, and then let's go over here. Lore. Gameplay... Stances, ultimate abilities, mass charge, hold command. We get anything about um, our cape? I'm just curious because it, it mentioned the cape specifically, so. I'm curious. Ah, there it is. The cape of an inspettore is their signature. Only seven in the city bear such capes, and they are not easy to come by. The cape is woven from tesseric silk, colored with Elysian, Elysian dye, stitched with Zoric thread, stuffed with runic wool, and worn by Umbrian flesh. Okay, that sounds gross. It is a, it is a symbol of the responsibilities of the inspectores to care for the city and its people no matter where they come from. The truth of the matter, however, is that the inspectores are agents of the registry and... Hold to the orders of the Verone at the tip of the White Spire with utmost obedience, even if those orders come at the expense of those beyond the registry. For shame. Alright, so we're learning a bit here and there. We're getting things handled. Man, there's a lot of people here. I think an assassination attempt might prove to be a little bit difficult. Also, it's bright orange. I mean, that's a bit off-putting. And it doesn't seem to really... I Like, it exists. What is this? Is that the world's largest harmonica? What the heck is that thing? Well, I'd love to sit around and, and read like... So many portieri. Uh, Makes me uncomfortable. I'd like to sit around and read like a third of what everybody says, but... Uh, I don't think that's going to be the best for our time. The White Spire Reception Hall. Oh, hello. Tragic circumstances. Truly. Certainly. And it is the responsibility of the Samora to offer support where we can. And the Registry is ever so grateful. And there he is. Judge Master, Barone, I apologize if I've interrupted something. Not at all, Inspettore. 
In fact, I was hoping to see you personally to deliver the news. Should I be frightened? <laughs> Inspettore, meet Tiziana de Felici, one of my finest marshals. The moment I heard you'd return, I understood that the White Spire must have been on hot coals. And the Judge Master was ever so generous to lend the Lucas strength to our cause. In what fashion? The Marshal will be assisting us in the investigation. You've told her about it? Of course. For the sake of our kin, we must set aside our differences, Cicero. But my words are wasted. I can see that you already understand. So the Sorelli is part of the investigation as well? I'm just here to- As Razatov's brother, of course. As I said, finding him is reason enough to overlook the schism between the Samora and the Registry. That is good to hear. I will admit that I am pleased, surprised, but pleased, that the pride many scorn the Registry for having has not clouded your judgment. And I say gratefully the same, that the fallacious arrogance of the Luca hasn't stopped you from stooping to assist us. Well, if that is all, I'd like a final word with my marshal before she joins you. Take as much time as you need. Huh. Verbal Stay fencing. Alright, let's go read about Floro Blargo Blargo. Fabio Feld, uh, Fidelta the first. Alright, there are some men that are satisfied with the status quo, that are content with their places in society, who find enough joy in simply surviving in this city. Hey, they spelled city differently this time. Interesting. And then there are men like Fabio, visionaries who have a dream for their people, who are willing to sacrifice for the sake of progress, who have the ability to set their sights on more than just getting by. Throughout my career as an inspettore, I haven't, uh, I haven't often been required to interact with the leader of the Luca Infinita, but all the times that I have, I have been nothing short of impressed with his efficiency his determination, his focus. And now, as he comes into the picture once again, I am reminded that he is that he is possession of so much more than just a powerful will. He is in possession, maybe? I, I don't know. Sorry, I, it's fine, I'm not trying to nitpick, I'm just... I have a hard time when things don't make sense to me. <laughs> it makes me sad and I'm over it. Anyway, he is a man of cunning and wit who will stop at little to do what he believes is best for his people, for his guild. All I can hope for as I continue with uh, continue the investigation is that I manage to stay out of his way. From the way things are progressing, however, that does not seem very likely. Of that we can be absolutely certain. I don't want to go talk to him. Where did the guy go? Oh, you guys are over here. Hey, you guys have really large swords. Like, I'd hang out with you guys for sure. I don't want this little baby fencing sword. I think fencing is one of the more lame versions of sword play. That's just me personally. Some people love fencing and they'll defend it to their very deaths. And in reality, even some of the swordplay that isn't considered fencing, or you know, like the, the, the EP or EPI or whatever it's considered, or the rapier, you know, the, the long pointed thing where you... Or the foil, if you will. Even if you don't use that, you use regular sword fighting. Like if you guys looked at uh, the Princess Bride, for instance, the sword fighting in there. That was with more traditional, like, knight swords or long swords or whatever the case is, but it was still a lot of fencing, you know? It was, it was fencing, it was. So, I mean, there's still parrying and thrusting and stuff like that, but in general, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of fencing. That's just me. I never liked politics. Cunning bastard. What are they talking about? How best to spy on us, I'm sure. You think he's... Did Favio tell the Crown about this meeting? And <laughs> share the opportunity to get the upper hand. I doubt it. Then he's cornered you, hasn't he? If you turn down his offer for help, he'll have reason to bring it up to the Crown. Citing my dissidence as reason for suspicion that I'm hiding something. They'll conduct an investigation. And they'll find out about Razatov and what he's working on. Just what you want to avoid. And if I do accept his help, then you'll have a spy among your ranks. But, given the choice between one rat from the Luca or the attention of the Crown, he knows that I will not act against him. Unbelievable. Any plans on dealing with this? Other than keeping her out of the loop as much as possible. 
Perhaps an accident. Lay a finger on her and a dozen more of the Golden Guild will be nipping at our heels, you know that. <laughs> I've always wondered how different things might have been if I'd made you a Regenti. I may hate the beat of the city's politics, but it doesn't mean that I don't know how to dance to it. Really? Because I don't think dragging along extra colors is in any way politically astute. The Mariner is hiding something, and it might be connected to his brother's disappearance. You brought me back to do a job. Let me do it. Yeah, let me do it. Jeez, rude guy. I apologize for the delay. Tiziana is ready to assist, whenever you are. That would be now. We're on the way to meet the Head Vigilus. Marshal, shall we? Certainly. Would you care for a walk, Judge Master? I believe there are a few trade routes that Dieci have set up that might be of interest to you. A walk sounds magnificent for Rome. Thank you. The dance to the beat of the political drum, baby. That's what we do. Well, sort of. All right. So, Marshal, how much of the case have you been briefed about exactly? Enough. You have no mm. questions that you'd like answered? Inspiratory. If you're attempting to goad out of me the extent of my knowledge about this case so that you can use it against me, I suggest you try a different tactic. Ouch. Burn. Burn! That was a, oh, that was that was not nice. All right, let's check out our case notes here. Uh, okay, we did all this stuff already. I feel like there's been more added to this. I don't remember reading all of this, do I? Oh yeah, I suppose I did read most of this. Wow, that must have taken a while. I don't. It's fine. All right. Anyway, we're gonna hop over here to the fifth one. The case just seems to be growing bigger and bigger. First a member of the Blue Guild tags along, and now we're burdened with a spy from the Golden Guild, whatever it is, we must press on. We are headed to speak with the head Vegilis, Kyrie Aquila, who or Akia, who will hopefully be able to put us on the path that Razatov had been on, as well as possibly telling us more about the Fey. Alright, well, there's that. Check out our skills. We only have one for each of those. What about you? You? We have four skill points with you. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, you're a Pavisary too? I, I don't need more Pavisaries. Oh, maybe I don't... Hmm, no. Eh. Reduce all damage the caster takes and their attacks generate more threat. Eh, whatever. We'll learn it. And then what do we have here? Pommel Strike. Tiziana strikes a target with fire and activates elemental tags. And then we have the Blazing Bulwark. Conjures flaming shields that destroy incoming projectiles. Enemies between her and the shields suffer burn damage over time. Mercurial Justicar, or Justicar, increases the shield's duration. And Avenger launches a set of shields outward that deals damage to enemies. Huh. I don't know what I want to do yet. We'll hold off on that for right now. Alright, let's head up in here. So let me get this straight, Marshal. You believe that I'm out to con you? I do not dance the dance of politics, so I will be straightforward with you. Yes. You being called back is a sign that secrets are being stirred. I know you're keeping something from me, as the Registry is keeping something from my guild. And I'm here to find out what. Is that straight enough for you, Inspettore? Surprisingly so. So you're here to spy on us? You've never dipped your fingers in the pool of politics, have you? Too bloody for my tastes. Well, the Inspettore knows what's going on as well as I do. And that's all that matters. Now, if we're done wasting time... <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. She was straightforward. She was pretty blunt. He danced around it. He's quite, uh, quite the, uh, we'll say, wordsmith. And then we have old blunt man McGee over here who's just like, so you're here to spy on us. This just completely cuts all the bullcrap down and puts it into one single simple phrase. I like it. I like it. Alright, let's read about her. Tiziana de Felici. 
And now we have a spy amidst our ranks. Perfect. There is nothing I hold against this woman personally. To be perfectly honest, she is simply performing her duty, but that does not mean she is any more welcome in this investigation. Getting rid of her does not seem to be a viable avenue for dealing with her presence. Perhaps I should start with learning how much she knows. You already tried that, and she didn't give you anything. I never thought I'd ever see the insides of this place. The registry is always so stiff about sharing. Just remember, we're here for Kyrie, not for sightseeing. Of course. Lead on. We're here for Kyrie, not for sightseeing. Onward! Oh, I wonder if there's anything to be found. Well, that's kind of a dead end. That looks like that is also a dead end. Alright, so we go where we're supposed to go. Trouble. The silence is too deep here. Usually there are... Watch yourselves! Get them! Justice will blind you! What? We're being attacked by our own people? Uh, why does this surprise me? I, I'm not entirely certain as to why this is surprising to me at all, but apparently it is. Alright, whatever. Oh, oh, okay, you decided to change your mind of who you're going to attack. That's fine. Attack. Oh god, what is happening with you guys over there? Stop doing whatever you're doing. Get out of that. Oh, you get out of it too. Alright. Let's go that way. That looks cool. There you go. Why are you not doing anything? I will say that this is actually quite difficult to, to do sometimes. Like, your characters don't want to click where you want them to. And it's a little frustrating at times. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be quite frustrating. Oh, jeez. You guys really just got dropped. Take him out. Yes. Now, bring him back in. Go ahead, hit me. You know you want to. I call myself the healer. Thanks. Alright. So that's been done. You have my we are 100% fine with all of this stuff. Let's go and do some damage. Wreck this fool. There's no way he kills all of us. Alright, so there it is. That was a little bit insane, and again, I'm not sure why our own people were attacking us. It seems a bit odd to me, but okay. What are you doing? It is customary for Portieri to stitch insignias of some sort. These have none, and they are poorly fitted. <sighs> what is it? Nothing, just a thought. A thought? Don't bother yourself with it. Inspiratory. Allow me to make something clear to you. There are two ways that this can go. The first, if you pay me with respect and honesty regarding the case, I will offer my full assistance. And as I have just demonstrated, I can be useful. Do I want to hear the second? If you attempt to blind me with lies and fabrications, I can make this investigation very difficult for you, as I have also just proven. Are you threatening me? I'm presenting options. Fabio put you up to this, didn't he? On the contrary. The Judge Master would be especially displeased, I imagine, with my forthrightness. Yet you are unashamed to admit it. The veils of deception set aflame. To the Mask of Lies do the same. A song? The Bright Chorus. It had once been the moral compass for the Luca. That was a verse from it. No one sings them anymore. Make your choice, Inspiratory. The wick of time is ever burning. I suspect these are mask runners. Why? Just before this, we found evidence that has led us to believe that they have taken Razatov captive. What would they want with him? He was creating Fay. What? I don't know why or how he knows how to, but he was. 
Now the mask runners have him. You believe they're after the head vegilis as well? If she knows about this, then perhaps. I see. You chose well, Inspiratore. Don't make me regret it. Now come on. If those men were guarding the entrance, Pyrie's still somewhere here. Fair enough. Alright. Let's check out number two. Fascinating. Never before have I met someone in the city that is at once so immersed in the dance of politics, yet so insolent toward its customs. She is a pawn in the grand game, and she knows it, but yet she refuses to play by the unspoken rules. She seems to loathe secrecy. She does away with any hint of deception, and perhaps most gravely, she trumpets her motivations with nary a hint of embarrassment. Granted, I might be reading her wrong, and perhaps she is lying about her true goals, but somehow, I don't find that likely. How am I supposed to deal with this honest enigma of a woman is currently beyond me, but I am equal parts cautious and curious about her presence in the investigation. Yeah, it is definitely interesting. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to break off the episode right here. Actually, we're going to go through this thing, and then we're going to break it off right after that. And I'm thinking that this might end up replacing Kin when it runs its course. We'll do this, we'll try to do this every day for a few days and such. Rough times coming. We'll see. Oh, looky, a battle. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the battle will have to wait until the very next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around the channel. There'll be plenty more mascarada to come. Until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.